This is Monique with your Daily Sunshine. Let's talk about is it time to start having that conversation with your loved one about not living alone? It's very interesting. Um, it's not always a good conversation because, you know, just like we talked about a video ago about independence, this is just part of the aging process and part of them giving up their independence as they see it and as you see it. Um, and then also coming to the realization that my loved one is getting older and they need a lot more care and support. And just trying to see what it'll look like for you and your family. Um, now is a great time to start looking at and getting information um, about what you might want or foresee for your loved one. Um, for our situation, it kind of happened gradually. Um, I never would have guessed in a million years that we would have had to put my mom in a nursing home, but unfortunately, her MS had progressed so, so much that we weren't able to take care of her. I was away at school. My sister was still in high school. My dad was working and no one was here. And we just saw that she needed a lot more care and support that we were able to, to give her. Um, I know a family friend, her doctor spoke to her, um, and her daughters, I mean, she knew the conversation was going on, but um, her doctor, you know, mentions it. You know, it's it's time for you to start looking at not living alone. And she, she had gotten to the place where she was comfortable with it. She had called me and we had talked and I just let her, you know, kind of figure it out. And her daughters also gave her that support. And it, it ultimately came that she moved in with a daughter. She looked at maybe going to a facility... Um, nursing home but she was like I'll live with one of my daughters and she was comfortable so hopefully you are looking at um, bringing the doctors on board if you can find a social worker um, there are numerous programs and I see commercials out to help you put together something um, but kind of think ahead it's it can be overwhelming if you're doing it like, bam, because um, my dad, he had to he had to really, really hustle um, working with my mom, trying to find her a place. Um, the first time he let the health care provider place her and that didn't work because then you start dealing with Medicare and or Medicaid and how many days they would pay and the first time around, we thought that she would be able to, you know, go to, now they call it rehab, then they call it rehab too. She was able to go to a rehab and then come home and she would be okay. But then when we looked at, it was a little bit more and once her days were up and then she got rehospitalized again, we were like, uh, oh, she's going to be, a, she's going to need a little bit more permanent situation and maybe you might see that. Um, but make sure you're working with the social worker and you're working with the doctor and you're trying to get as much information as you can um, as possible. And, you, you know, you're going to make mistakes, but ultimately it's the care for your loved one. This is Monique saying good luck. Have a great day.